Welcome to a session on interview skills. It is an integral part of any selection process. Most of the time, we are concerned about the content, but we tend to overlook a very important as aspect during an interview, our kinesics, our body language. Always be aware of that one person on the panel of interviews who does not ask too many questions. He is the one watching you for your body language. When we talk about kinesics during an interview, we should take care of our postures, gestures, facial expressions and eye contact. The way we sit, the way we gesture, the way our eyes work when a question is asked, the way we squint, everything matters in an interview. We may get flustered and we may not realize it. The expression on our face tells us whether we are a team player or a very rigid person. And that is why it is extremely important for us to watch our body language, to know how we would appear when we face an interview. Let's try out certain things. When you go for an interview, the interviewer asks you to sit down. Sit upright with back straight and legs crossed at the ankle level or both feet placed flat on the floor. The interviewer has already told you, make yourself comfortable. Have a chair, have a seat. His duty is done. It is now your duty to make yourself comfortable. If you are sitting on the edge, you would realize that after some time, you are actually getting edgy. You are nervous. Do not slouch, but relax a bit. Avoid looking rigid and authoritative. If you sit at 90 degrees all the time, perhaps that gives the impression that you are too authoritative and you would not be a good team player. If the interview proceeds for more than 15 minutes, perhaps you could recline at an angle of 120. Relax a bit, but do not slouch ever. When a question is being asked or when you are answering a question, lean slightly forward to show interest. Avoid shaking legs as it conveys restlessness and nervousness. Gestures are again extremely important to be mindful of during an interview. How many times do you notice students or interviewees going tick tock, tick tock with the pen? They do not realize. They do not realize. It's just that they are either very anxious to answer the question or they are trying to recall something which could be there in the subconscious and they cannot place it. Or it might just be a case of nervousness. So, ticking a pen or maybe fiddling with your hair or any other object, it not only shows anxiety, it is also a distraction. The panel, somebody from the panel might just tell you, uh, could you please keep the pen aside? And that could make you actually nervous. Touching lips or nose could suggest insincerity. So we ought to be a little careful about our gestures, about our hand movements. Do not go about gesticulating all the time. At times when we are anxious, what we do is our hands start talking. No. Put them loosely either on the table or on your lap and use them only when it is required. If you do not use them again, it could suggest that somebody has told you to be rigid and authoritative. So, be a little cautious about your gestures. 
eye contact, believe me, it gives you away and it actually establishes in the minds of the interviewer how strong or submissive a person you are. Maintain eye contact, but do not stare. Now what happens is if you are applying for a multinational which has its corporate office in the US of A, over there they appreciate eye contact. So if the firm is US based, you can actually look into their eye and answer your questions. They wouldn't mind much. But anywhere else, perhaps a long duration eye contact could be considered as staring and therefore what we should do is maintain an eye contact for maybe 10 seconds at the max 15 seconds just run it up a bit or look at the other panel members and then resume your eye contact again with the person who may have asked the question it is extremely important the second thing which again tells people about your personality is voice modulation. If you are confident about yourself, about the answer that you have just proposed, your voice would convey it. Now what happens? You know the answer is there in your subconscious. You know you have done it and yet it's not coming, it's not registering. Normally we get nervous. There isn't any need to, I told you. Pause and breathe. You have to be confident. You have to sound sincere. Pause, breathe and if you so wish, request them for a glass of water as well. They would grant it because they want to know how you would approach that problem and if you know the answer to that problem. Now, when you pause and breathe, you are hydrated, you are relaxed and you also get those precious 30 seconds to say 45 seconds to formulate that answer. Tilt your head slightly to a side while talking with the interviewer to appear cordial and easy going. Now what does that mean? If I am sitting at an angle of 120 or maybe even 90, it could appear that I am a little dissociated, I am a little disinterested and therefore in order to show my interest, I must lean slightly forward towards the interviewer, towards the person who has posed that question. Believe me, content and body language are very important in an interview. Prepare for the content because without that it's almost difficult to crack an interview. But with the content, if you have an excellent body language, there cannot be anything better. Watch your eye contact, watch your postures, gestures and you would definitely scale through that interview. Thank you.